Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Welcome to the first episode of 3ds Max Basics. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to customize your 3ds Max to work easier and more efficient. First, go to Customize menu. Here you see 3ds Max default settings like Renderer and Material Editor. What I recommend you is to choose your main rendering engine and in the right box, choose the UI that suits you. Press set to apply that change. Notice that it applies once you restart the application. Next up is the configure project path. You can load all the missing files such as textures, HDRI files, proxies, and everything that the project file can't find. Let me show you by an example. Here you see that I have two boxes. The left one is missing the texture because I changed the texture's location. Basically, in some of your projects, a number of texture may not be loaded. Here I show you the first method of loading. Under Customize menu, open the Configure Project file. Go to External Files tab and press Add. Then find the target texture in their new location and press Use Path. So the project will load the texture and update the path. To see the texture, open the Material Editor, go to the Diffuse Map and press Reload in order to make the texture visible in the viewport. And the second method is like, when you open the project, you see a dialog box saying that some of your textures are missing. Let me reset the scene and load it again to show you that missing external files dialog box. Alright, as you see, it's the same dialog box. It just includes a list of missing files, so you know where to look for loading these files. Press Browse. Press Add. Find the missing texture and press Use Path. So now all the textures that are in the same directory will be loaded. And in the UV tab, you can control the scale of your material and also rotate. I'm gonna show you a very simple way to avoid missing files in the next video. Anyway, the next item is the unit setup. I highly recommend you check this in every project before I start creating anything in your scene. Here are different unit scales, so you can choose the one that suits you. Once you set it, you will see that all the parameters are changed to a new unit. So if you face with something weird here, simply go to Customize, Unit Setup, and change it to the unit that you know. Next, Preferences. Here you need to check a few items. First one is the Auto Backup. Here you specify the time for making a backup file so you won't lose your work if the application crashed or any unexpected issue happened. The next item is the Gamma. Basically it should be set on 2.2 and all the items should be checked. You can also control the gamma before saving your render image. I'll talk about it later. And the last one is use real world texture coordination. I highly recommend you uncheck this item before I start making any model. If it's checked in preference settings, it would be enabled in every new model you create and it would look like this. As you see, it changed the scale of the texture. If you found it enabled in every model, simply go to Customize, Preference Settings, under General tab, uncheck the Use Real World Texture Coordination.
and press OK to apply that change. That's it for me guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to be notified about the next video. See you in the next episode. Have fun!